this uh, this is actually my first scheduled upload on YouTube uh, using what, a feature that I only got because I'm a partner but now just regular monetized YouTubers are getting this feature um, <clears throat> if you get this on Friday a week from the 5th so Friday the 12th if you get this on Friday the 12th it was filmed on Friday the 5th and I just scheduled it out a week because I knew I would not be here to make this video because I am somewhere in California dealing with uh, crap that has to get dealt with um, so this is the hashtag FF follow Friday shout out for October 12th and it's based on a video that was uploaded on October 5th a week earlier and it is uh, also a response to that video uh, the video is by Shugalen Ren uh, link in the description box subscribe this guy um, he is my shout out but I'm also gonna answer some of the things that he brought up there um, first uh, when I think of the three R's I think of uh, my grandfather saying reading writing and arithmetic you know and uh, it, it just brings up this image of not very educated <laughs> you know I just it's it's like one of those ironic statements you know you need to learn the three R's and and the R's and the three R's are not R's but uh, anyways if somebody gave me uh, 50 pounds what would I do um, well first thing that comes to mind let's see where do I have my uh, permanent marker today oh here's one let's see what do I have in my wallet See, the first thing I would look for is anything like, in God we trust, on your money. And then I would uh, mark it up and turn it into, in God we rust. Now, I have heard that uh, British money doesn't have deities on it. You're a little bit more uh, ahead of the power curve than Americans. I've heard the same thing about Canadian money. What gives? I don't know. But I think if, if I if I had fifty pounds, after I checked to see if that pound note had anything religious on it that I could, you know, make a statement on, I would probably. Uh, if I got 50 pounds, actually, it would probably come to me in PayPal form because you can actually get dollars sent to uh, British people and it stays in dollar form until they convert it. And then when they send me money, it comes in pounds form and I have to convert it. And it takes like a little conversion click or two. But if I got pounds from someone, it would be in that account probably that I use to give to charitable things on YouTube because like how uh, Sugar and Ren got his 50 pounds you know um, he got it from AdSense and I, I think um, my answer to this question is more what would you do with money if you got money from AdSense and I can tell you that uh, all of the charitable donations that I've made this year could, you know, be equated to the money that I've gotten from AdSense. I see it as like an easy come, easy go type of, of money it comes into my PayPal and, you know, these charitable uh, things that pop up from time to time on YouTube, they take PayPal. So, you know... Um, yeah, just about as much money as I've gotten off of AdSense, I have given out to other things. So, that's probably what I would do 
Um, more because, uh, like what uh, Sugarland Ren says at the end of his video, um, he's not wanting for anything. He, he doesn't covet a lot of things. Um, I pretty much have a lot of everything that I covet. Um, I'm not really wanting for a lot of things. Uh, off the top of my head, a new camera would cost me, you know, for, for a better camera, it would probably cost me around two, three thousand dollars. And 50 pounds is not going to make a real big dent in that, you know, even if I got that 50 pounds every one or two months, it would still take a very long time for that to add up to, you know, one of one of the things that I am coveting. But uh, as far as little things, um, I've even found that as I get older, uh, when the newest rock CD comes out, you know, the, the news, newest uh, musical artists that are on the radio, I don't find myself wanting them as much. So my collection is getting kind of dated, you know, and so was my father's. Um, I, I don't know the, the word to explain this, like whatever you listen to during your adolescence and, and uh, into your early adulthood is something that you're going to be stuck on for the rest of your life and you're going to judge all music by that and you know you're going to start thinking well do I really want this uh, Lady Gaga album that comes out when it's really crap compared to the stuff that I used to listen to you know so yeah I see Sugar Lenren's point that uh, as you get older uh, material goods just th they mean less and less to you um, I can tell you all a story about uh, socks when my sister Deb was in hospice and well, in and out of the hospital for six months before that um, I was going to school full-time and working full-time my only time that I had to see her was on the weekend. And I pretty much scheduled myself to where I was uh, Monday through uh, Friday morning. I was either at school or work. And then on the weekends I would go see my sister. But it would, it would happen right after I got off of work. And I would go see her. And so many times... I forgot to do laundry during the week, and what I would do was uh, stop by uh, Walmart and pick up one of those giant packs of socks, right? And I did that so many of those weekends for uh, around eight months, to the point where I think that I own so many socks that uh, I'm not going to have to buy them almost ever again. And <laughs> now that I, I'm not in that same uh, situation where I was going to work in school all the time, um, my feet have like almost permanent tan lines. It's, it's October and my tan lines are still not gone from me wearing flip-flops all the time. Um... So I'm not even wearing these socks to wear them out, but I have this giant collection of socks, um, hundreds of socks, and I know the value of the dollar now. And since I have these socks, I don't want to throw them away, you know. So I'm going to use them until I run out of socks. I'm not going to buy any more socks. And in fact, since 2000 and eight I have not purchased any new socks whatsoever and also since 2008 the only new underwear that I've received has been uh, Christmas and birthday presents so um, yeah I still have a, a giant collection of that 
and, and some people have seen that in blog TV sessions where I have a giant collection of strange underwear as well. Um, but, yeah. Some people, uh, having moved from place to place across the country, might have thinned out their wardrobe and said, uh, you know, it's going to be years before I could ever use all of that. So let's just, you know, donate that to some charity or throw it away or burn it, whatnot. But uh, I just don't feel like it's uh, a wise use of money to, to let this batch of socks that I have, this giant collection of socks, go to waste. So, you know, luckily they most of them are either solid white or black because the stripes on socks they they come in and out of style you know so yeah if somebody gave me 50 pounds probably it would end up in charity because like the the money that i earn with other style jobs um I, I, I'm a lot more frugal with that than the money that just so, sort of comes every so often from YouTube. 